Welcome to Cardiac Anatomy for Radiology. This is part of a 10-part series looking at the anatomy of the heart, specifically for imaging anatomy, and it's useful for anyone who's studying for the FRCR examinations, or also anyone who's just wanting to brush up on their cardiac imaging anatomy. This section is about the pericardium. So the pericardium is one of those structures that's often forgotten on imaging. It's actually quite difficult to see. On this image here, you can see the yellow arrow highlighting this really tiny, thin line that's surrounding the heart. And this is the pericardium. This is a normal pericardium. A normal pericardium is difficult to see. In disease, in a thickened state, it can be much more obvious. So one of the key things is that if you're noticing the pericardium, is to check, is there actually something going on there? The pericardium is a bag, kind of like a paper bag, that sort of surrounds the heart. There's stuff inside it, pericardial fluid. Again, if there's an obvious pericardium, ask yourself, am I seeing it because there's too much pericardial fluid? Around the pericardium is often this fat. So this is a fat in here that's separating the pericardium and the heart from the chest wall and the lungs. The pericardium has a number of folds and reflections and these are the pericardial recesses. When it comes to pericardial recesses the only way to get the hang of them is really just to see lots of normal hearts and chests. So I like to keep life simple and I think about three different words when I'm thinking about pericardial recesses. I think about superior, posterior and transverse sinus. So the superior pericardial recess we can split into anterior and right components. So this first arrow here, this is the anterior superior pericardial recess. Over here we have the right superior pericardial recess. And back here we have the posterior pericardial recess. And on the image here we've got this just little structure in here. Now this isn't the superior vena cava, this is the right superior pericardial recess. And you can tell, you can just tell that it's actually separated from the heart here and that this is the atrium that's separate to it, rather than if it was the superior vena cava, it would be connected. So then the other one we've got to think about is the transverse sinus, and that's a little lower down and this area in here. So that's very simple, pericardium and pericardial recesses. <laughs>